Alright, what up, y'all? So, I got these dropped off the other night. Uh, I didn't do these, but guy got uh, some fiberglass doors, got some grills made for them, but these not cutting it, so he wanted a different design. And uh, uh, instead of doing just this one circle and, you know, this, it's going to be a Nissan logo kind of built in like I did the Chevy sign logos in the truck. If you hadn't seen that, you know, i put a, a link somewhere around there, but you can watch that. But it's going to be that and then just another little random design over there. So should be a pretty interesting one. So, All right, so this is what we got so far. Just the driver's side drawn out. Just a little quick little design to the left. Just something, something to add a little flavor to it. And then, you know, the Nissan logo on the right. So that's good. Uh... Just got to get that cut out. Probably cut it out tomorrow or probably be another couple of days. I'm, I think I'm booked up tomorrow, but it'll probably be, I guess, Sunday. Two days from now, I cut this out. Trace the design over to this passenger side. So get all of that over there. And then uh, I can go ahead and get to actually do, putting the router work to it. So. All right, and just like that, you can see... Old versus new. This is driver side, driver side, passenger, passenger. So, as you can see, the grills were made technically the same, but uh, before, so it wasn't symmetrical. So, like, you know, or it wasn't symmetrical. So, you know, it was literally the same design on both sides. So, it just didn't flow right. So, now it's going to be a symmetrical design. So, depending on where you look, you get the same feel, you know. So, both of these are cut. Uh, what I'm going to do, the problem outside of the design was the fact that the black ones wouldn't fit. They weren't, After the doors got painted and all of that, he said they didn't fit. So this is cut the exact same size uh, all the way around. It's the exact same shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, flush trim bit, and I got a smaller bear, and so I'm just going to basically rabbit it in just a little bit, like a little. And uh, the same way I do when I'm uh, about to wrap a panel with, uh, like, carpet or vinyl or something, and I want the trim to fit in and fit perfect, it'll be that same process. So I rattle this in a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, and then should just fit right in there. Now snap it in with some magnets. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and trim this down. Uh, I think you can see. So I got the it's a flesh trim bit, but I got a smaller bearing on it. So this is going to be the, the little routering or the rabbit part. So this will shrink it down just a little bit. And then I'll come back around with a, a flesh trim, trim it all the way back around. So then it'll be a little bit smaller than this one. So it should fit in the door, which, you know, just fine. Because the other one fit kind of close, but... It just wouldn't go all the way in. It was some some parts of the edge was touching. So this should clear that issue up and uh, make it fit with no problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim this one and this other one too. All right, so now the groove is cut. Uh, I think you can see that. So it's just a slight groove, but we're getting ready and uh, we're gonna put it on this flush trim bit. So this will smooth everything out and uh, It'll officially be just a hair, you see a little bit on it, but it'll be just a hair thinner all the way around than the old template. So let's go ahead and finish this off and then uh, be time to round out all the edges. All right, everything is even. You can see the two tone, two different colors from where it cut twice, but uh, it's even. So now we got, this is the 45 degree chamfer bit so I'm going to trim all of this inside stuff all of that and uh, angle all of that and same for this piece and I think I'll be done with the router then it'll be just time to uh, sand everything down and get it ready for paint and uh, put the grills in it and I'm still waiting on the LEDs to come in so that'll be another couple of days but that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and plug this router up Trim all of this out, and then we'll be done with the wood cutting. All right, so everything is cut. Everything is routed. 
and sanded everything with a 150 grit and then 220 grit. So about to clean everything off and uh, prime it real quick, see what it's looking like. And I'd probably go up to like 400 or maybe up to 1,000 after that wet sanding. But uh, this is just up to 220 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, wipe everything down, spray some, uh, some primer, let that sit. And then I come back tomorrow probably sand that primer a little bit and then uh, prime it again, see what that's looking like, and then spray it black. All right, so everything is sprayed this first go around. Uh, same deal as always with this uh, spraying this MDF. So the sides a little rough. So I'm gonna wet sand this down with uh, I probably wet sand it with about 400 and uh, prime it again, wet sand it and uh, spray it one more time and then it should be good to go and ready for the fleece. So let me go ahead and get this sanded down again and uh, repaint it. All right, so 400 grit wet sand, it's done. It's, uh, it's dirt on my hand, but it's done, it's pretty smooth. I'm gonna wipe it down one more time just to make sure there's no other dust and dirt on here. So wipe it one more time and then uh, prime it one more time and then should be ready to, uh, for the gloss black. And the LEDs just came in today. So most likely I think I'm just gonna do like uh, just one strip going across here and it'll light up this whole section. It might, it should light up a little bit of that too, but I'm going to see. I don't want to put too much in there because it's not a whole lot of space the way, uh, the way the doors are made. So the, it should be enough to, uh, to get the job done, but we'll see. But lights came in, grill fabric is already here. So once I get this sprayed and it's looking good, I go ahead and staple the grill fabric down and uh, put some LEDs and these, these will be ready to go. All right, so... As you know, or you may not, you may know, you may not know, but with this MDF, the little sides, like in this little part, it doesn't always get that smooth when you're sanding it. Now, it's always got like a little rough texture to it, and especially after wet sanding, I guess the water kind of soaks back up in there and it roughens up a little bit. So after the first, well, the, the last layer of primer I just did, uh, the top is smooth, it's ready to go all of these angled parts and then the side parts right there. I went ahead and sanded that again, but this time uh, still with the 400, the still 400 grit, but I did it dry this time. So just dry sanded it with 400. So now it's real smooth to the touch all the way around. So it shouldn't be an issue with the paint sticking and looking right when it's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Spray the black this time so it's primed, it's ready. Go ahead and spray that black coat and I'll probably do I'll probably do two or three coats before I call it done and uh Yep, then it'll be time like I said for the lights in the grill. Alright, so the black is sprayed and uh I think it came out pretty good. Well this is upside down, but it'll be this way. This is passenger side. So it's looking pretty good. I got a few little small spots. I'm probably gonna uh, knock down maybe some thousand grit and uh, spray it one more time. But so far so good. So it's uh, just about ready to, to call it done. So long away from what we started with. So which was this. And now we're here, so long way from from there, but I think this is going it's gonna look real good once it gets in the car so i'm gonna I'm gonna come back tomorrow or well, tomorrow Thanksgiving, so I'm not working tomorrow, and it's my birthday, so I'm not working, so I'm uh spend some time with the fam and uh I get back I guess Friday and uh hit this with a thousand in a few spots and uh Spray it one more time and get ready for these lights.
All right, so the paint is done, ready to go. Got my grill fabric. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out across here, staple everything down. I'm gonna leave this part bare, I wanna say, cause I think this is where I'm gonna put the LED strip to, uh, to light it up, so that'll be there. And uh, yep, let me go ahead and staple this up and I'll show you the before and after. All right, so here we go. Got this uh, finished product compared to what we started with. So I think it's gonna look good once it's in the car. Uh, uh, LED strip should be, it's either gonna be on the back of this facing towards the, the panel that the speakers are on or it's gonna be on the panel that the speakers are on in the same area facing out but not sure yet i'll uh, figure it out once uh once the car gets here and uh i'm either gonna use these magnets to hold it or i might do a uh, like a couple small pieces of velcro like i did on my my old door so just depend on what i'm working with once i get back well once the car gets back here and i can really look at everything up close but that's it so far Just so you can see it before and after with the, the fleece on the back. Well, not the fleece, but the grill fabric on the back end. So. That's it. Small changes, but big difference. 